Well, UConn basketball legend Jim Calhoun has been named in a lawsuit. Calhoun is now the basketball coach at the University of St. Joseph. The Title IX lawsuit filed today is against the university by the former associate athletic director for sexual discrimination. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff is live at the campus in West Hartford now with all the de details and developments. Susan? The lawsuit itself was filed against the University of St. Joseph. However, Jim Calhoun's name is mentioned many times in this lawsuit. So is the assistant coach. As for Jacqueline Piscatelli, she says she complained to her boss several times over several months, and then she says she was fired. The University of St. Joseph and basketball coach Jim Calhoun are on the hot seat. Jacqueline Piscatelli is now suing the university for things she says Calhoun and other men said and did to her when she was the associate athletic director. She was fired back in June. Piscatelli says the athletic department became a male-dominated, hostile work environment. She claims Calhoun once knocked a number of single-serve coffee K-cups on the floor and then made her clean them up, saying if he made such a mess at home, his wife would clean up after him. Glenn Miller is also named in the lawsuit. He is the assistant coach at St. Joseph's. Piscatelli says Miller also made numerous inappropriate comments to her, including criticizing her for not being cheerful or smiling enough. And once said, I'd swipe left too. Miller's statement was a reference to the popular dating app Tinder, in which users may swipe left to reject further contact with another user or swipe right to indicate sexual or romantic interest in another user. And that Miller approached her and said, you're feisty, I like it, implying this turned him on sexually. Piscatelli's attorney says Jackie had a job she loved and excelled at in an environment which she generally felt respected and valued as a professional. And rather than protecting Jackie and her female colleagues from further harassment and discrimination, USJ not only condoned this boys club, it fired Jackie in retaliation for daring to speak out against it. Channel 3 went to Piscatelli's home. No one answered the door. When we contacted the university, they had this to say. We have received and are reviewing the lawsuit. The University of St. Joseph takes compliance with all matters relating to Title IX very seriously. Piscatelli also says that she often works six or seven days a week and that Calhoun and the other men in the athletic department would go out and play golf during the day while she stays at work. Now, what's the next step? We did try to reach out to Jim Calhoun through the university, but we have not had much success. We do know that the Associated Press did reach out to him as well, but so far, no comment from Jim Calhoun. We are live in West Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.